Hello guys, welcome to another video and in this video I'm gonna showcase my newest design which is this horseshoe crab here it is from the top not that impressive but from the back it looks from the bottom it looks way better um, so we have the gills here these flaps and we have the five pairs of legs then we have some teeth I'm not sure if they are teeth or actually smaller legs uh, but yeah, then we have like these spikes here, tail, carapace, and yeah, that's it. So this is a pretty simple design. And now I'm just going to show you what was the design process for this origami. So, first off, what is a horseshoe crab? And to answer that, let me show you these weird pictures of this weird animal that looks like it lived like a million years ago. But yeah, this is a real animal and honestly, it's one of my favorite animals. I really like this one. Um, so yeah, what are the important features of, of this animal? So we have the horseshoe carapace. Okay, so we can see here, this is the top and we have a long tail. Like from the top, what you can see is the horseshoe carapace. You can see from this image, which has these spikes here and the long tail, okay? so. Uh, this is one I wanted to replicate, but the hard part comes on the bottom. So we have here, first off, we have five pairs of legs. I, I, all, uh, uh, I only noticed this after, but we also, like each leg ends in two tips instead of one, but I only did one. Uh, but yeah, we have the legs, then we have the gills here, and then we have these little things here. I don't know, I don't know if you can see it, but... I'm not sure if they are legs, if it's, if it's his mouth, uh, I guess it's his mouth, like here it's a mouth and this is just to help him eat, I guess, who knows. Uh, but yeah, the hard part would be to get all the details here on the bottom. Um, so my first attempt, which was, uh, which I don't actually have the crease pattern, but I'll show you a real uh, picture here, was this. So here is the first attempt. Like the legs are, first of all, there's one less leg and they are way too spread from each other. Yeah, the carapace is really big and the tail is really small. Yeah, so that was a pretty bad attempt. <laughs> um, I guess the things that I did not like about it was the fact that the legs were too far apart from each other and which made the carapace way too big and therefore the tail was a bit too small. Um, so I decided to do uh, another attempt and the thing that I uh, changed was first off the distance between the legs. Like you can, like I, I forgot to mention, but the way I designed this crisp pattern was first I made a small, very simple base on Box Splitting Studio, BP Studio which is another software for designing origamis. And in case you want to see like a tutorial on it, let me know. But yeah, I did a small base on that one. And what the first thing that I changed was this, the space that there was between each leg. Like on the first attempt, I had one unit separating each leg, but then each leg was two units. So that made the proportions a bit weird. So what I did was I made the two first legs join uh, so the two first legs were not separated and then i separated then i put the one unit river and then i put the three uh, remaining legs so that doesn't show on the um, on the final model because i just crimped it a bit to hide it but yeah you can see here so we have like one leg one leg and then we have like a one unit river somewhere here it's kind of hard to show you here exactly where it is, but then we have uh, another leg here, one point here, another point here. So these ones, you can see that this is three and this is only two, like, so you have a separation here in between. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to do was add gills, uh, which I did by this. It's only one one side, but that's because I'm too lazy to draw it here. Um, so I had here the gills. And I also had it as I added some. Uh, I'm not sure if I did this on the first one, but I had this uh, level shifter to make the carapace a bit wider. Okay, so because I wanted the carapace to cover 
the legs which yeah i don't think i have it on the first uh, on the first attempt so that was the um, uh, the main uh, change that i did and this crease pattern actually gets something really close to what i wanted i will let the show the comparison like in the for the real origami for the collapsed origami for this space and for the final and the final one it's it's this one okay so let me first get them in comparison so you can actually see so the first thing i changed were the gills uh, where they are placed like you will see what differences does this make on the the origami i will show you and the other thing that i changed was um the like the positioning of the of the carapace so again from the footage that i will show you next like the carapace they do seem a lot um they do seem a lot similar um from the top view but you can see here that they are a bit different like this one as this mountain here uh, so basically the carapace is pretty much all of this this uh rectangle here and, and but in this case the carapace is a lot smaller like it's this square right here okay and both of these are from a 20 by 20 grid okay so it's rather simple uh, so what else did I do uh, I think the changes were pretty much um, were pretty much it like I changed a bit here how this part in the middle collapsed but that doesn't really matter and yeah, I guess that's it, guys. Okay, so here are the comparison between the two versions that I did. From the top, they don't look that different. Uh, this one looks like the tail is bigger, but it's actually not, okay? Uh, they are, so these are from the same grid, 20 by 20. Um, it's just a matter of how you collapse the, the crease pattern. Uh, I think the carapace is pretty much the same. This one is just shaped a little better, but differences are on the back here, so basically you can see this one so obviously this one is shaped better uh, but this one for example like the main difference is the gills um, so the one thing I did not like about this one which is the first version is that they were like there is this small gap here between the gills and the legs so I kind of changed that um, so that the gills started uh, here and also on this version i added these parts here these teeth or legs whatever uh, i could have done the same thing here i think i had enough paper here but yeah this one is a better and the one thing that i wanted to change here was the um, carapace i think it did not like it did not uh, look like a, a horseshoe so i tried to maybe improve it a bit here but I didn't make <laughs> that much progress, um, but definitely looks better here, I think, than here. Let, I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Uh, obviously this one is shaped, or not better, but I, at least I put more time into shaping this one than this one. Um, yeah, so these are the two versions. So, um, I'm not sure if that was helpful or not, hopefully it was, and you could maybe understand how I designed some of these details. And uh, yeah, let me know if you like this sort of tutorials or sort of videos and if you wanted to see, if you want to see some tutorial on this uh, origami. I will most likely do it, but yeah, let me know. And thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.